18 plus anime is most definitely the reason why a lot of us are down bad. And it was most likely the gateway drug to things that are probably even worse than this. So, it's a Deki Sayaki. We've all seen it, we all know what happened to it. Well, I just wanted to make a video about it. So here's a very stupid and memeified recap of the whole story. But before we get into that, I just want to let you know that currently, 95% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So please subscribe to the channel this year because it's finally to 1,000 subscribers. And once we reach that goal, I will literally review Kanjo x Kanjo x Kanjo. Anyways, back to the video. So the main character Kanzaki, which is literally just his entire name, it didn't even give him a full name, it was named Kanzaki. He receives a love letter. So then he goes to this shed, and then in the shed is this girl. And then he's like, oh, maybe she's the one that's gonna confess her love to me. No, she kicks him in the fucking face. And the problem is, she's not really a Mortal Kombat character, so the kick only merely just knocks Kanzaki to the ground and doesn't knock him out. Why the hell did you kick me in the face? I just wanna suck your blood. And then he gets up and they immediately just start arguing. And then Kanzaki calls her a rascal. And she's like, no, I'm not a rascal, I'm a vampire. Which immediately just reminded me of this. Kazanaki! Kazana! And because this girl is a vampire, she then immediately tries to suck this guy's blood. But then what happens is she sucks it and the <laughs> She sucks the blood and then what happens is she's she ends up just spitting it out. Sakes. She spits out the blood because she's not used to the taste of blood, which is a very bad vampire. All my guys been eating a lot of garlic or something like that. And then before this, she goes on a rant about how basically she needs to like eat stuff that has apparently life energy in it, so it counts on, like sweat, blood, stuff like that. And then Kanzaki, using all of his Sigma brain, is just like this. You need to have stuff with life energy in it, right? Yep. How about this dick? She then agrees and then gives him the Sloppenheimer special. And then the next day, she comes to his class and then takes him out because he, she requires feeding. And then proceeds to absolutely rinse this man of everything that he's worth. Because uh, this anime relies on the rule of milk or be milked. And we also find out that this girl's actually part succubus, but unfortunately the scene I cannot show you on YouTube, so you'd have to go and watch it for yourself. And then every single lunch period, this girl comes to this guy's class, takes him and needs to milk him for everything he's worth, like Rockstar milking GTA 6's release date. Also during some of the procreations, he's the background music literally sounds like Minecraft music. Like, what, what the fuck is this? Why is there like Minecraft music over like illegal movements? And then during the Itadeki Sayaki, Say Itadeki Sayaki extra, sort of like five minute extra episode, the guy's like, oh shit, what if she's cheating on me with some other guy who has a bigger schlong than me? And then like, she's like, no, I'm not going to cheat on you, I like you a lot. And, like, and, he, and he's like, yeah, I like you too. And then they're like, yeah, we, could, we are partners now. Oh, why can't this happen to me? Also, the animation is really good for 2014 standards, but now, at least it's not like the, those Five Nights at Freddy's SFM stuff that was published back in the day, because oh my god, some of them were just bloody awful. <laughs> and then at least it wasn't done by Queen Bee Animation, because obviously it would, it would look worse than those like really bad Gmod Sonic Zombie animation from God knows back when on YouTube. You do not have to worry about Sonic, he's very strong. I believe that he will come back and no problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to be fun when we see him again because he will own friends. Anyways, this anime was actually really good. It wasn't a case of the nostalgia making everything seem better than it actually was. It got right into the action, had a pretty good romantic subplot for like two minutes. The animation was good. There was like one questionable scene when there was the three on one battle. I'm not, I'm not talking about Rainbow Six Siege here. But overall, Really good. And also, we must pray for our fallen soldier Kanzaki who's been milked to death. Leave a F in the, in the chat. I mean, don't comment. Anyways, this anime is a solid 10 out of 10. And if you really like my interesting anime reviews, please go, uh, please watch this video here where I talk about the most wholesome 18 rated anime. Anyways, thank you for watching and goodbye.